So my name is Swasti Sharma. I am a developer at Geeky Ants. This is my Twitter handler. You can go and follow me on Twitter. So today I am going to talk about my first experiment with Svelte. So as basics have already been discussed by Sanket and uh, Saurav, so I will not discuss it again. So rather I will discuss my journey of Svelte. So what I built in Svelte. So let's get started. It was like after learning the basics, I wanted to build some kind of mini project. So I started digging, what should I do, what should I do, then there was no reference because as well it is really new. So then SB admin dashboard is really very famous. I think you might all know that. So I wanted to take a reference from that, but again the same problem, it was not in Svelte. So then I decided to, why not to make a dashboard in Svelte because there is not any. So from there I plan to, uh, you know, build a dashboard in Svelte. But before proceeding, I you know listed out the problems which I will face. First being, how will I handle the CSS? Because I am learning Svelte and I would not like to donate all my time in writing CSS for a dashboard. So I needed a component library. For that, I was searching and searching. And then I came across one library which is Svelte Strap. Basically, it is a bootstrap library which is exclusively for Svelte. Then uh, the handling of CSS is solved by Svelte Strap. But then next problem, how will I handle the routing? Because Swell does not provide that. So for again, for that I searched and I came across Sapper, which is again a framework. Uh, and I will talk, I will uh, like to talk about Sapper in uh, this talk. So Sapper is more of a companion of Swell. It is just like a, uh, we have Nuxt for Vue and Next for React. Similarly, Sapper is for Swell. Uh, it includes all of the Swell and also some of the features which are not there in Svelte, it also provides us with that. So you might be wondering why the name Sapper. The name has two meanings. The contraction of, it is the contraction of Svelte app maker and second being the English meaning which is uh, the soldiers who are responsible for building roads, repairing bridges and handling demolitions. In a sense, this is what Sapper does for Svelte. So moving on to further, as we have already talked about, uh, Sapper is generally used for server side handling, rendering, and it also provides routing for Svelte applications. Also, it provides us inbuilt folder structure. This is how a Sapper folder structure looks like. Uh, here we have basically every Sapper project has three entry points. First being the client.js, uh, which is the entry point for the client rendered apps. And second being the server.js, which is the entry point again for the server. And then we have service worker.js, which is an optional file. You can have it if you want to access to features like push notifications, background synchronization, or offline support, the most important one. Now the question comes, how does Sapper works? We have talked about how does Svelte works, but how does Sapper works? So basically it is based on two simple concepts. First being each page of a app, Sapper considers each page of a app as a Svelte component. Second, talking about pages, how, how would you create a page? So we can create pages by adding files to the route folder. And from there, these pages will be server rendered so that whenever a user visits our, uh, user's first visits to our app will be uh, as fast as possible in a client rendered app. Now comes the point of difference. Uh, the Svelte compiler generates bundle.js and bundle.css files that contain all the JavaScript of the application. I mean, the JavaScript and CSS of the entire application. But Sapper works differently. Sapper generates .js and .css file for each page of the application. So on each page load, only the JavaScript and CSS required for that particular page is downloaded, not the entire file for the application. So this is what we known as, this is known as code splitting, which is again a very good feature which Sapper provides us. Moving on to features of Sapper, we have already discussed some, uh, including server side rendering. Then we have discussed that it provides us with routing and we can have, we can make routes in the source and route folder. Also it, uh, in the previous slide, we discussed how it does it manage code splitting and it also provides us often support by, you can create a service worker.js file for having access to offline support and other features. And then it provides us with great folder structure. I mean, in, even in React, we don't have an inbuilt folder structure. You have to maintain a folder structure by your own. But Sapper provides us 
inbuilt folder structure which is something different then talking about my experiment my experiment my experiment was dashboard so this is what my folder structure of my dashboard looks like this is same as sapper provides but talking about the source folder they are the two main folder which are the meat of the application i would say uh, these are the components and the route folder route folder have all the pages of the application and all the pages uh, in the pages you have swelled component so the component folder moving on to further we have a route folder and uh, how do we handle routes so it is basically a navigation between pages so like we handle navigation in html using anchor tag similarly we handle uh, here in swelled in sapper also so you have to just declare a, a page name in the href attribute and just the anchor tag simple as simple as that so moving on to further we have layouts talking about layout so far we have treated pages as entirely standalone components so what about navigation upon navigation the existing component will be destroyed and the new one will be created so as we all know this but in many applications there are elements that should be visible on every page what about that now this was a problem but it was again solved by sapper because we can create layouts how do how do we create a layout component so we can create a layout in the uh, again in the route directory with the name underscore layout dot swelt uh, this is how uh, it looks like a simple underscore layout dot swelt file also the files and directories with the leading underscore do not create routes so this is what the simple uh, file looks like also we are declaring here a navigation bar which will be visible on every page of your application now coming back to my dashboard my experiment uh, i had a problem with this layout part it was like i had two layouts one was using uh, talking about layout, layout like we have to show a navigation bar or a footer on every page so that's why we use layout so now what in my case i had a problem that in some of the pages the sidebar and uh, navbar was showing and in other of them they were not showing like i'll show you this is the yeah this is a, a page of my application which is a tables in this you can see that we are having a sidebar and a navbar but again in authentication page i'm not showing any navbar and sidebar so how do how do i have tackled this problem i have used simple if and else this is how i, I have bifurcated the two layouts for my application but again sapper has a great way of uh, doing this which is nested routes though i have not implemented this but uh, yes you can implement it and i will implement it soon okay so now it is <laughs> time for demo so this is my dashboard i have made it using uh, svelte and sapper and also for the uh, UI I have used Swell Strap as I've already mentioned, and uh, yes, there are pages of authentication which is not using any navbar and sidebar. You can see. Also, uh, there were some of the components which are missing in Swell Strap, and for them, uh, for those components, I have built them on my own. It is responsive as well. Wait a minute. So guys this was my experiment with Svelte you can go on and check out the repo and it, it is an open source so you can also contribute it and um, this was my experiment on Svelte i would really like you guys to try something new on Svelte and the next time we meet i would really like to hear you guys uh, and thank you